All right, this is the Hydra Dragons coming at you with a brand new game. Well, not really new. This game's been out for a while, but it's brand new to me, Lord of the Knights. And it's not really brand new to me because I've been playing it for six years. But today we're doing a sneak attack because I wanted to do the first op, which was today where I got these four with the assistance with the assistance of my alliance, but I couldn't, uh, I couldn't upload it because I didn't know the sound was on, and then it recorded a bunch of personal messages because, you know, I was in the middle of an attack. So I'd rather do one that I can handle without having to call for help, uh, which I'm pretty sure on the sneak attack it will be easy. Now, of course, every good sneak attack comes with a good fake. So here's the target I'm working on slowly. I'm just beating him down day by day. So I'm going to heavily fake him while I focus and then tweak out these three guys. Maybe, perhaps, if I win a ruby. If not, then I'll, then I'll just take out two. And if you're wondering why I'm talking a little different, it's to disguise my voice so you do not know I'm American. Oh, crap. All right. So, uh, hmm. Okay, so I know how to start this. First off, ignore all those new captures, because those are the ones that are going to be... It doesn't really matter if we send much at him, or really what we send at him, as long as it's you know enough to distract him for a good 30 minutes while I take out his... Uh, while I finish off this guy I was working on today. It does not, you know, it does not matter if I lose these troops because they're just leftovers. And I'll be recruiting new ones. Of course, I got a couple reels coming in I'll have to deal with. I imagine the reels that I'll have to deal with in the middle of the fight, but that won't be any problem. The, the last reel I got up in this area lasted a couple of rounds. And let's just say that guy didn't leave with a very powerful army. Oh shoot, I went outside the I went outside the zone there. <laughs> let's see, let's get back into there we go. And it doesn't really matter if these hit at the right time or anything, because like I say, it's it's just a distraction. I'm actually gonna pull back my mass troops, send about a hundred of them so I can back up that attack if it comes I don't think it'll need it but if I need it then I'll have something to back it up like these yeah I'll just send you know 50 50 of these keep most of the mass troops good I guess all 26 of you can go because I did actually lose most of my army today but I'm just trying to Make use of what I have left as I do these sneaks to finish it off. Then I can just grow for a little while and plan for another attack in a couple days. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we'll go ahead and send that. I should have plenty of mass troops hanging back. Actually, I'm going to go mark those castles M so I remember which ones still have mass troops left in them. They're not really even mass troops at this point. It's more like just a decent enough army to do something. I mean, you. I mean, I'll look at the times on these, but I can tell they're not going to hit. I mean, I just want it to look as real as possible for them. Even send in some armored horsemen, why not? Let's see, another mass base. Uh, I can do a lot with this 500 swordman. You're not much use of anything. You're not much use of anything. This is basically just recycling without disbanding the units, you know. Giving them every bit of use they had. Actually, no, that's kind of mean. That's kind of mean. They went out and fought 
higher today, so we're going to save some of them. We, we can't let all those units. They went out and fought harder today and got four good conquers. That should be enough to distract them for a while. I mean, heck, it's freaking 2k units, so all kind of landing within, you know, he'll be like, what's going on for about 40 minutes? So that should be all I need now. Let's go over to new cap. And before you guys say, oh, I'm just a big gold user and I cheat. Actually, I used about 5,000 gold on this here project because I was moving a resource from all these over here. So I only use gold to finish the units. I don't want to hear a dang thing. I'm going to go ahead and get the mass troops going. And see how they go. Although, actually, let's just send the spy first. Let's play it safe. I mean, I can't expect them to have too many, but... You know, let's just play it safe. You know, it's two minutes to see what I might need and what might not need. Because I imagine they stacked him up if, he's got, if he got beat up. If they're smart, but if they're not, then I'm going to tear into them because I know they don't understand strategy. Because, I mean, really... Let's see, defending units. Yeah, he's going to need some bulk up. And that hits in 40 minutes. I'm going to go ahead and put a hammer down there. Because I don't really feel like having to deal with this. So I'm just going to put a hammer on it. If it's real. If not, then the hammer can just go back. Ow, oh, crud. I forgot I'll have to use the guardian. But they're only hitting that up there, so... They're only hitting this one up here, looks like. Because I know my neighbor lost most of his attacking troops today, hitting me with that 2k spawn that just got kill killed. So I don't really have to worry about him, because the max they could be hitting him with. I mean, they might do a 5k, but even then I'll be able to turn out troops from over here and just get them there in time. Because it's double unit speed right now, so it's not like it's very hard to get them there. <laughs> well, anyways, I'm going to go ahead and start that attack, and uh, I'll get the defenses going to that later. But I'm going to go ahead and start the attack, because I want to get it going so I can know where I stand with it if I need to send, if I need to try to finish it off, or... Because, I mean, I know my spy should be back right now. <laughs> Boop. Or at least returnable. I'll oh, hit in five seconds. Let's see if it gets through. <laughs> hmm. Looks like they didn't stack him up. Oh. I was kind of hoping for a fight tonight. So if they didn't stack him up, I'm just going to send the ruby and take him. I mean, I'll have more troops because I'm going to have all the new caps troops in case anything goes wrong. In case they're pulling a trick on me, but I'll be able to pull in some more troops. But yeah, I'm just going to send the ruby with them, cap them in a couple minutes. I don't understand. You lose so many castles. I mean. Yeah, right. And I didn't really spy on this one, but judging the fact that I was hitting every one of his castles hard, I think these will be sufficient to handle it. I mean, I literally hit every one of his castles and he drained every one of the troops I'd saved up for the op, so. Alright, and that's going down there. Now let's get some defenses out to him. I'll actually, uh, let's see if I can trinkle for a while and then try to figure it out. Or actually, no, I'll just send the hammer. I, you know, I'm not going to waste time trying to be complicated with that when I'm trying to battle up here. You know, I'm just going to put a hammer on it and leave it. So I got to go to either six or, oh, it's four. It's Forto PJ, fourth project now. So, uh, 
I forgot. There it is. It was right up here. I just saw it. And I don't even know if there's anything left in the Guardian. Yeah, a little bit. Not to do something. That's precisely why these videos are being uploaded uh, after the war. Uh, let's see. Actually, I'm just going to freaking link it and put a support bridge and... I'm just going to leak it, put a support bridge, and then fix it myself for a while. <laughs> so what time does that happen? The land that's nine nineteen. <laughs> if it has to land at nine nineteen, then I completely forgot about those hammers I had right here. Boom! It'll land at nine nineteen. Boom! And then send that one. Boom! And then boom. You know what time will these land? Uh, 59. Alright, let's send 50 to each of these. We'll hold it off for a few more rounds, if anything. And then I can do something more. Those all land after that. Uh, looks real. I mean, based off what I did to them today, they have to be wanting to get a real, so I guess I won't mind. Because the troops are moving faster now, so even if I have to recall them for... Because I pretty much know all these castles are down. I'm not really sure about all these out here. But they're not very leveled up, so I'm not guessing they're ready to send out too much. But I know all of his are down by now. Because he's been getting hit hard every day with fakes that he didn't know were fakes. So he was defending them like he was going to lose his castle. So. I mean, here's another fake that has, you know, it's, it's kind of spread out troops. But it still has over a thousand coming in. But anyways, let's go see how that attack's doing. I think it's about to land here in a second. Yep, sure is. Uh, and now I'm I'm just gonna stack this one so I don't have to deal with it. And the other one I will deal with. Makes it easier to stack. They'll just all come back. And I won't have to worry about it. Alright, that should be enough stacking for a while. Yeah, because all that will arrive right before and after. And then he'll have, boom, that to bust, whatever that is. And then we'll be good. I'm just going to sit there and wait on these daggum, uh, these here uh, attacks to get in. And I, I can see they land in about 25 seconds. They should both be landing at 22, as that is the time. And then I guess I'll take uh, another one of these fresh caps and um, send one up here just in case I get a ruby. I can already have it cleared. 
if I can combine the dang things. <laughs> Let's see, dang gum, so many Excon castles. Well, this is where the enemy stronghold is, so I'm not about to lay up in this little chunk I got here. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Not really worried about you, buddy. I think, yeah, that one was the one that was specified for archers. I didn't finish many of them, though. I guess it was archers and swordmen. <laughs> Mainly swordmen. I usually use swordmen on sneaks because, you know, it's... It is what it is. Because sword... Oh, because swordmen have the best balance, you know. No matter what they're going up against, they're going to take down a decent amount with them. If you have enough of them. I'm actually going to send in horses and archers and stuff to take care of the other stuff. I know this is just a farm run for him, but it may become real if I cap the other ones. And yeah, all right, let's we'll send in 400. I didn't sink it because, you know... It's landing right here. I didn't see the need to sink that. Just saying. Like, if you feel uncomfortable with those land times, then so be it. And actually, since I'm so used to playing the old way, I don't sink any of my attacks, really. Because I've always played the old game, you know, where they didn't have synchronization. So I got really good at doing that, and I just never learned it, I guess. Now, hopefully I get a Daggum Ruby from one of these caps and can freaking... Because I didn't get any from these caps, so if I get one from these, I can just send one right up there and finish them off. I'm not sure how it's... I mean, I know he doesn't have any Trinkle Room, so... Uh, actually, the chances of this being a successful cap are... 90%, I believe, because... He would have to be up, and he can get the fence, but, you know, he's going to be distracted by this. It's going to keep on accumulating more and more. You know, because by the time this lands, you know, boom, more, 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 more. So he shouldn't send the fence out here. I'm not sure if he will or not. I'm not sure if he even has much left. I mean, I freaking wiped him out earlier. <laughs> Cleaned him out earlier, so... And he's not that big of a gold user because 30, yeah, still sitting. He hasn't gone into attack mode yet, so. Might get him to surrender here in a minute. Do a 20% tax, or at least that's what I would suggest. 20% tax on all their castles since it, it was kind of an expensive war. Well, it wasn't too expensive. We haven't had too many losses. I don't know. Let's see. Our first, uh, our first battle today, we have how many people sitting on the alliance up? I guess that's personal. I can't show you sitting on the alliance up. But I can help the alliance. Oh, oh, oh that will show you. But, yeah, I guess that's not too bad. I guess I, yeah. But, yeah, that's how many people lost a certain amount of castles. So I guess it's not personal. It's all, nick it's all nicknames. Ah. ah, okay, so I'll, I'll kind of know how this is going, you know. At 32, I'll know exactly how it's going because it'll either cap or fall because that one actually itself only had 55 horsemen. So, that's, uh, that's how I know if it's uh, been... That's how I know if it's been assisted or not. It will just fall in a few minutes now. That's all we have to wait to watch the burning outside the castle. I'll try to shorten this video, but I won't.
because there's no need to shorten it, it's already going to be short. Mm. But, yeah, this is the new server. And these are the server wars going on in the new server. Just this war with my alliance right now, just one alliance. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, but the black sheep have been smart. They have stayed out of it like I knew they would. Many of them did. Oh, no, they haven't. They joined in there. We're going to wipe them out, too. All those leveled up castles. So sad. There's a lot of power up here. If they combine it all together, they might be able to get one or three of mine. But they've been waiting too long because every day I'm increasing the siege level that it can take by about 2,000 units. And that's for each castle. Of course, when I'm capping new ones, that slows down because I have to get them up to that level. So it kind of slows down, slows me way down when I'm capping new ones and actually being able to cap more because, you know, the more you cap, the more defense you have to get out there. But I don't know if the defense has arrived here or not. It's probably on the way. Oh, yeah, it has. It has. So, yeah, try to keep it. And actually, yeah, I can recall most of those units. The Degum, oh, well, there's not really much of a point in it. It doesn't... <laughs> They all died. Many, many of them died. I was actually left with very few troops. I think it still goes on for, yeah, up to 32. Hello. And if I get to messing with him, see, the thing is, I want to mess with him for a little bit more and see if he's been able to build up enough troops to withstand a night barrage or a sneak attack. So that's why I'm kind of wanting to wait for these to build up enough. See, next round I'll get a report and see. So I'll see, but I won't put that in this video because it'll make it too long, but I'll basically just stay up and watch. And I guess that's not... Oh, because it's not plugged in. I'm dumb. Like, why's your phone die? Well, you don't got it plugged in. For one, but yeah, that'll keep on going. Or maybe, because I would hate to not get this corner, but I would also hate to not get that one, because that's my that's my goal, be able to connect this line here. But I'd also hate to not be able to get that corner, but then again, it's one castle out in the open, so it doesn't really matter. He'll be defenseless. He'll either quit or move after this. There's only two options. You lose all but two of your castles, you know. You, you you gotta you gotta make some wise choices after that, you know. At least I always did. I mean, I played in like six servers, and every time I lost out enough, you know, I'd give up. Or actually, no, not really recently. To not really recently, I learned that you can just give up. Most of the time, I ended up getting reset. I've learned not to care about otter in this game, because what is otter? Otter will get you stabbed in the back. You stay honorable to your alliance. That's the only honor you need. Every other alliance is just in the is just uh, asset. I don't know. In just a minute, if it's gonna be an easy night. And then I'll know in probably about an hour if he's going to be an easy night. Because I might go ahead and take him. I could line, I could line it all up and see if it's possible. I might pull all those defense, all those troops back and just line it up on him. I mean, he can't take much more of a siege. I mean, after the day, he was defending this guy and himself. So, And he did pretty well defending this guy. Because, you see, I missed out on two caps. So he did pretty good. He took my 100% down to 70%. But I wasn't too mad about it. Because even being able to get these four. I could launch these perfect sneaks with resource. Putting the resource train in. And then buying troops. That's how you got to do it once you get some castles. So resource train your new ones. And then get them built up with troops. And then take more. <laughs> Should be here in a minute. Shouldn't either cap it or. 
We'll see. We'll see what color it turns. Got that timer flips over. Yep, got it. All right. I need something out here that can hold 15,000 silver, but this guy didn't upgrade any of his keeps but one, so hopefully they're 15,000 copper. Just wanted to get it before I camp the other one. If I don't get a ruby, it's fine. I mean, it'd be nice to get a ruby. And maybe I'll just go ahead and cap all three, because I'll just cap all three and mess with him all night. I'd rather just keep messing with him, because he's a, he's a big guy, so I'm just going to keep messing with him until I can do all of him at once. Because it's going to be easier to take this up top if I unlock a ruby for getting mixed nuts there. <laughs> We'll know in a minute after this next minute, I think, because the battle round ends. Yep. <laughs> but yeah, I'd rather go with the easy target than take the big one head on when I'm more prepared. Because right now I really don't have a lot of OT to sling around. Yeah. Okay, looks like he got that one to last around. Or probably, actually, I didn't spy on that one, so he probably just had enough troops in to last around. Go check the battle report. And. Ah. Yeah, he, he just had enough troops. Let's see. He's getting ready for an attack too. <laughs> I don't get I don't get it, man. Every time you know, every time I sustain sustain heavy losses, like if I lose more than ten castles, I go into defense mode for the next three days and then build up my troops, you know. That that's just not strategic. I mean, you know you're on the target list. When someone takes when someone takes about five of your castles, you know you're on their hit list and you're just gonna do that. I mean Look at that. My. Oh, I was looking at mine. I'm so dumb. Okay, good. He actually did go defensively. I'm so dumb. I'm sitting there reading mine like, look, you know. <laughs> but yeah. Hmm. I don't know. Looks like this one might need some assistance because those those armored horsemen are going to do some damage to my little, little army here. So I'm going to go ahead and send some more battles. Send some more troops to that one. See, that's why I saved the troops instead of using them on the fake op. Because I knew I wouldn't need to fake much. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I know I got some troops sitting back here. Jeez, gum. All right, that should be enough for him. Going to go ahead and recall the units here. So I can have them to strike up there in case I get a ruby. I don't know if I get a ruby or not, but that'd be kind of a lucky one. That'd be kind of a lucky shot. I can't believe I was sitting there looking at my troops and not looking at his troops. I'm so stupid. <laughs> Oh, that, that's got 10 minutes, so I guess I'll go ahead and start setting up the defense line, because I think I got it sitting in the dragon. I think I got it sitting in, Nola, or in Daniel right now, sitting at home base. Let's see. Or actually, I'm dumb. Have a tap name takes me to home base, too. That's why it's named that. Well, and, and that's my name.
Yeah, he should have enough. I'll get him some more troops later, but for now, and now I'll have to, I'll have to finish some of them up, and then I won't be able to. Huh. Let's see. Thousand horsemen ought to do pretty good up there. Huh. Yeah. It's a way to get that thing defended fast, too, because I can send them all up there. And then we'll leap it at that for it to build up, but... Don't freeze on me. Alright. Now see, I I spawn all the uh, troops out of home base because I don't like. There's no way this alliance wouldn't have my back. I mean, I guess there could be a way. I guess if we got all spawned by one time, but it's not going to happen in this little war. So I'm not worrying about keeping castles unguarded. It makes more sense to send the troops up where they'll take some damage. Than <coughs> and those 1700 horsemen will do damage to anything that hits them they're not they're by far not the best but they do they do the job I'll actually I end up finishing up the I think it's about to freeze yeah and that's the problem with Lord of the Night it's a fun game but it does have its glitches you never lose that though Okay. I guess you can get the copper since I really don't know where else to put it. I mean, I have no idea. Every one of my copper stocks is full, just about except for in the non board zone. There's no need in putting copper out there. Yeah, let's see. I mean, I deposit as much as it'll let me, which isn't a lot. Oh, I can deposit it in an hour. Thank you. I think I might be able to get some more resources, plus a few more people get online and get resources. I'm not going to waste the gold right now on the defenses. And then some 43. I don't know if it's a takedown. Although I don't think it'll be a takedown, because... I'll go ahead and X him out and start working on whatever he didn't have working on. Uh, 24, 24, 224, 224. Uh, meh, 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 meh. There you are. Here, you're about to get your X. This both this both stands for that you've been crossed off my list and you're part of the XCOM team. Enjoy your promotion. You're gonna be doing a lot more damage now. XCOM team has in people, not just one player. Ha ha ha. That should be going down here in a minute. And then if I... Hmm. Wonder how... Wonder how old... Old Titan over here is doing. Or I, I call them Guardians, but... but Guardians... Uh, I haven't even looked at what one of his battle rounds has done. Uh, Okay, so the first one killed everything. Now they got enough to have them again. 
That probably won't tell me what he had in that one now. Mm-hmm. Let's see. Let's see how it goes. We got another minute before launch. And of course, this is just going to keep going on. I mean, I, that's the reason why I started that, is so it can go on. Because what they do is people will assume that the major attack they send, like the first op or the first strike they send, is all they had. Like they gave it all they had. But, you know, what most more experienced players can do is they'll hold back some of what they got, you know, just kind of make it look like. Like the first day I was getting all kinds of insults like, oh, you're so unstrategic, what a terrible attack, because I was just sending, you know, 900 fakes to a couple of castles just to trick them, you know. You know, you're just bad at strategy, and then, you know, the next day I take six of their castles, people stop talking to me. And then the day I take seven, and hopefully take seven, I don't know if it's going to be 7 yet, because I'm not sure if I'll get a ruby from this cap. But if I get a ruby from this cap, it'll be 7, so we'll see. Just one more minute. They actually might have got trained to it, because that one had enough time, and I hadn't distracted the Guardian enough, so that one might, that one might go on. This might be the end of the video, because I'm thinking it went on. Oh, yeah, it did go on. Let's see. External troops attacking. Looks like they have it. Good, 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 good. Now I can play with them. Now I can play with them. They can test their skills against my skills, against my army, against their army. So, boom, boom. Half it. And. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's, that's looking good. That's looking like this is going to be a fun fight. Actually, I will let it, I'm going to let it record as long as possible until my memory's up. I could not get my SD card in the day because I was just wanting to make these videos. But then at the end of it, that'll be the end of it. So now it is time to play <laughs> the game of Lords and Knights. I actually prefer getting caught on a prefer getting caught on someone's last stance than just taking them without a fight, you know. Oh, I gotta go back to my blue. Oh, I'm in freaking points mode. And that's why I'm sitting there like, why is it not going to my next one? <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's see. I think I I think I done drained all the. Stuff out of these. Oh, I still got... Because that returned from there, so I'll send that. And I mean, honestly, if this continues going on, I'll just freaking keep them up all night. Keep them up all night and day. I'll get my team in eventually. My team wakes up in a couple hours. I'll get them in and we'll just mess with them all day. Well, actually, I say my team wakes up in a couple of hours, but they're up now. I just don't mess with the night shift much because they tend to have a different... I don't know. They tend to have a different schedule. You know, they're off doing stuff that's... All right. So I messed with him enough. I know I'm not going to cap him tonight. So I'll go ahead and uh, return all these troops before they die. And then use them in the fight later. I messed with him. They know where my attack's going because I have my first wrinkle. So we'll see how many more troops they have in this area. Yeah. <laughs> I think this tax led to do that be good to put in there. Yeah, I'll try to see if I can make a record till then. I did delete a few of my videos. And when I get that SD card in, I'll be able to record for hours, but I just wanted to do this. I didn't feel like setting up anything because I'd had to format it and I was like, you know what? I'm freaking been playing this game all day. I am super busy. 
freaking I cannot, you know, I cannot deal. We're just doing the video tonight. You know, if it cuts out, it cuts out. At least I got a video in my first Lords and Knights video. You guys can kind of tell me how you think I am. How do you think my gameplay is? <laughs> but yeah, even though I'm losing more troops on the Trinkle, doing it at night, it'll still be more because it'll go on till morning, and he they don't have the they don't have the capacity to, capacity to do 100 Trinkles in this area anymore because I done wiped that out with my past two with my past two attacks, so. They can only do 50-50 Trinkle, so I'm only losing the bare minimum of troops. If they were doing 100 Trinkles for a while, like they were badass, but that, that stopped real quick. They didn't feel like losing 600 troops no more. They didn't have 600 troops to lose. And that's what killed them in the OT because they were trinkling with half OT and half DT. Losing 100 troops OT each time. Bad strategy. I just lost the castle over doing that. Ah, I'm joking. I, I'd send every last troop of, the, of OT before I'd lose the castle. I'd send every last troop before losing the castle. That's just how it's played. Uh, might. I'm, I should be able to get this one though. I have a I had a plan for this. I knew at least one would get trinkled because by the time you cap one, they know where the attacks are going. But what I want to do is get this one down until it's about to go down, until it does go down, and then take the other one if I get a ruby. Possibly even buy a free castle to hunt for a ruby. And it's a good idea, too, if I can find another ruby. And I can get two going at once. Keep them distracted. <sighs> well, actually, I could have two going at once now. But I just don't feel like getting any leeway. Because if that thing farms and then I send an attack real quick to claim it. And it doesn't hit, I'm going to be mad. So if I send it, it's going to be real. Oh, I forgot about my XCON castles. XCON 4. Let's go ahead and send some of them in. Because my freaking thing doesn't work right anymore since I've added all these new X castles. It doesn't scroll right. I can't get to, I can't get to how I used to. So it's an, it annoys me trying to figure out where, where my tech castles are. Because they're all labeled and they used to be right in the line. And I'm getting it to where they're all in the line because heck, all these are going to be coming. Let's see. I don't know if XCON 6 has anything. Nope, just DT. This one's got, yeah, XCON 7's got some decent, decent mamma jammas. Yeah, I'm just going to load this tack up and keep it going as long as possible. I actually don't want to send too much because I'm afraid I'll take it next round and not have, you know, that to take that. Because I'm going to end up buying that free castle to hunt a ruby and then, you know, hoping I get one on this cap because I don't need any more free castles. I'm done buying them. It'll just be buying free forts for now and those free forts will be in strategic locations. Instead of buying the defense beacons, because I think I have enough defense beacons. Let's see if I can go to this attack I had today. I don't know if it's still in the... I don't know if it's still in the thing or not. Yeah. It should be, though. Yeah. Somewhere in these. It's back towards the beginning, though. Yeah, because there's one Fawn's guy hit. There's one Pungyun guy hit. I think it was this one. But in that earlier fight, I think it hit right there. He hit one of them with a huge hit, I know, because I was in the middle of it, and I just saw all these freaking, this massive troop reduction, and then it's like, oh, okay, so I just got hit with, Free KOT, but I can't find the one you hit with. I do believe. I think it was this one. Yeah, I think that's the end of it. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so I think it was Axon DP. 
Yeah, because there's where he's still got a pretty decent army. Knocking me down and way back here. I think one of these were the first hit. Yeah, that's where it first hit. Knocked me down pretty good. And so I lost a pretty decent amount of troops. Not near as many as I lost today having a drink with that OT. See if I can find the first one. No, that was one from the start, but there it is. Boom, freaking what do you hit with? Fifteen hundred? Well no, because you gotta count the losses too, so that's fifteen hundred there. And then so he hit with three yeah, he hit with three K and I took him out. Knocked me down by half. But by the time or he didn't really knock me down by half, but it's about half ratio me. But by the time he couldn't send any more like I do, he couldn't green up. Because what I'll do is I'll send a 3k attack, let it hit, then once it gets knocked down by the hammer, then I'll send more to continue attacking after the hammer. But yeah, that's the one that caught, that's the one that caught and got my attention today. And I didn't even look at it for a second and I realized I'd pass it. I was like, well, it's going to be close, but I'll get it. <laughs> And just kept going like that. He recalled those units and sent more. <laughs> and he and the other attack got half too, so he just recalled both. Oh, <coughs> excuse me. I can tell this is going to go on for a while, though. Let's see how my last battle report was. I think you can report this. Ooh, Trink going with a little bit more than 100. It looks like I haven't gotten their troops down as far as I want to or not. I'm going to have to stack that up with troops and take them down. I'm not liking this. If they can still Trink with more than 100 troops, then I am not happy. So. Actually, you know, we'll go ahead and... No, no gold. No gold. Gold is for fort production, and that'll be all it is for. I was going to say I could use gold to speed up things and make it a little less lossful for me, but no. Those troops will be back at home base, and I'll send another a huge launch and take them out. I'll just keep them going all night. They can't have these 101s forever. Or they can't have these daggum 800. Or I, think they're, I think they're shrinkable with 500 troops. Which honestly is a bad idea, because you don't even get the most effectiveness out of the shrinkable. Let's see. They're trickling with. Hey, they might not even be trickling. It might be a last stand. Because I did not check the troops in any of the castles. I only checked them in one that I knew I could take immediately and took that one. So it could be a last stand or. A, it could be a last stand or a heavy trickle. I don't know. Oh, it's because the second trinkle round came in and I wasn't able to take out those troops because I don't have enough packing. So, yeah, they are drinking with a normal amount. But they're just building up, so I got to get those down. So, yeah, I will end up having to use a tiny bit of gold, but it's fine. It's fine. It's worth it to not have to fight. Plus, I'll still have plenty to build tomorrow, so it won't be my, it won't be too bad on me. Plus, I got those trains set up, so I fill them up pretty good. I don't have to spend too much on the fill-up. Let's see. Yeah. I gotta see what his strongest unit he's hitting me with. Yeah, he's got them all mixed, but the armored horsemen crossbow can't do nothing about them so if he's doing it with armored horsemen it'd be best to just do it with uh, either a lance or a swordman so I'm just going to go with another swordman send another team of 400 swordsmen to take down those armored horsemen I should take them down pretty well I 
don't like using gold in the attack because I think it's unfair, but heck, if I use gold before the attack, might as well use it in the attack. Because this one will hit pretty soon. Actually, since this is going to be a while, I'll go ahead and swarm him. I'll go ahead and swarm him to save as many troops if I, as I can, because the troop count for regaining the gold to be able to do this again is going to be worse, so I'll swarm him to... It'd be a better deal on my end, personally. Plus, as long as that train's up, which I think I got the train going for one more turn. So, as long as that train's up, I really won't have to worry about much anyway. Let's see. Yeah. Boom. Just trying to get enough there to stop the uneven trinkle. Like, I don't want to lose half the troops during the trinkle, so I'm trying to get enough troops there to stop that. So it can be an even trinkle for a while. Next battle round's gonna hit, but it'll be a little bit stronger. And actually, this is kind of a good thing, because if this ends up getting capped, then it'll make it that much easier to do that other one. Because he, I know he's having to pull his own defenses. Let's see here. Let's see here. What's my next move? Should I continue to storm him? Why not? And no, that is enough gold. The rest must go to building. We have to get a strong fort. It does not matter. Well, it actually does matter the troop, but I will only spend gold as I see that I need it to continue the fighting or the battle round. And then actually, I probably... And no, I'm not going to do it as a planned attack. I can handle it on my own. I just got to get those troops back, which they should be back now, so... Some of them, anyway. Some of them still are still, you know, hitting them up. I'll let him still be distracted because I need someone to. I need someone to pull that dang guardian out. I can't. I can't. I can't cap this if that guardian's still being able to trinkle. So I'm gonna pull. From him, make sure he thinks they're still real. Oh, heck, this one's on fire. Oh, a fake. Eh. wonder if this one's a fake. Probably the ones hitting it. Yeah, probably the ones hitting it. Five are the real ones. These ones are the fake ones. So they can make me think I can go to bed. But what they don't realize is that if I'm not on, someone else will be on in my place. So... I don't, I don't necessarily understand what they're trying, but they don't know that someone else will take my place, so I guess that's kind of a strategic advantage. Of course, I'm going to be fighting this freaking all night, so I'll be distracted with that, because I ain't letting it go. I ain't letting it go. I'll be able to recall units and build up more units. Well, not, maybe not build up more units, but... I won't have to worry about. I won't have to worry about running out of units to keep this thing going. We'll see how the next round goes, though. They don't have any hammers left, I know. I'd like to see one get used just so I can feel proud and confident that this alliance as some form of structure, but I don't think the hammer's going to get used. I think this is going to run on until this guy is just tired of fighting. Oh, 
I'm probably going to end the video here because I think I'm reaching up to an hour. But you guys kind of see where this is going. I'm just going to continue storming this guy until I get it. And then try to go to his top one there. Thus completing my... <laughs> My dragon shape, but I gotta, I gotta kind of, I got the see, I got the perfect spot for the eyes, but I gotta kind of mess with this, and I still got this guy in my way for getting the head, so that's what kind of messes me up with getting the dragon. But I'll, I'll, I'll have it. I haven't let anybody know that my goal is to build a dragon on the map, but that is my goal. I want to put a dragon on the map. I think that'd be cool, but I just gotta cap all these guys, and I don't think he's moving. I think he's plans to stand firm. And I plan to stand firm too, my fella. And I think we are making a pretty good standing firm. I'm going to let this next round go through and let that be the end of it. <laughs> the end of it all. Still got enough decent amount of troops coming in with attacking. I guess I did. Did I lose half of them or just some of them? Hmm, lost half of them. Yeah, they are doing a pretty good balanced trinkle. Hmm. I'm going to have to overwhelm it to get it to be more even. Cause right now I'm getting my ass handed to me in this battle, but I can I can turn it around. I just gotta think strategically. I can turn it around definitely. I know, I know I can turn it around. I just gotta think. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna storm them, storm them without gold because I have plenty of troops in the area to keep them coming in, be coming in for hours, and then I'll get some help. Uh, I'll actually post a bridge, try to get some help with it, and then we'll end up taking it. But anyways, thanks guys, this has been the Hydra Dragons doing my first video on the Lords and Knights. We will do it being many more, and I will get an op, I will get an operation, an op video in, but I just missed, messed up on the one today because I was at a house and it was recording audio, and I'm sitting there trying to be like, you know, do all this stuff, and I was like, well, the audio is ruined, there's confidential messages, and I'm, I'm just going to scrap this and do this video tonight. I hope you guys enjoyed. Have a wonderful night, day, whenever you're watching this. Hydra Dragons are going out of here.